Breaking news, three people found dead inside a home in Round Lake Beach. Shortly after that, a high-speed police chase ended with a person of interest in custody. Our Charlie DeMar has the story from Round Lake Beach. It was a well-being check that brought police to the home and led them to that gruesome discovery of those three bodies. As for that wild police chase, it ended some 70 miles from Round Lake Beach. The house with the open garage is where Round Lake Beach police officers focused their investigation for several hours Monday. Dennis O'Brien lives across the street and spoke with investigators. Just want to know if I have a camera, if I've seen anything out of the ordinary, if the garage door was open most of the day and that. And I said, nothing out of the ordinary at all. And nobody's speeding off, at least on down the street and that. And didn't hear anything like gunshots or anything like that. We've been here 22 years, and that house has kind of been kind of in and out with people. Around 1.40 p.m., police were called to a home on Camden Lane near Silver Oaks Drive for a well-being check. Once inside, three bodies were found, and a search for the suspected killer began. And be advised the subject possibly armed. Wanted for homicide. A car wanted in connection with the crime scene in Round Lake Beach was spotted by Illinois State Police troopers who initially tried pulling the car over on I-57 and 115th, but the car took off, reaching speeds well over 100 miles per hour, eventually crashing into trees near I-80 and Water Street in Joliet. Suspect in custody, waiting for EMS. Thankfully, it's an isolated incident. As for that person of interest, he was taken to a hospital to be treated for his injuries. Police have not released any information about the relationship between the three people found inside the home. Reporting in Round Lake Beach, Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News.